Good afternoon, dear children. How are you all? You all are excellent and safe at home. Yes, very good. Today we will see a new lesson from our grammar textbook. That is uh, from the textbook lesson number eight, subject verb agreement. Subject verb agreement. Subject. So first of all, we see that what is subject and what is verb because the name of the lesson is subject verb agreement. So we'll see first what is subject and what is verb. Okay, what is subject? Subject is a noun, you know, noun. Naming word is called a subject. So the definition of subject is name of a person, place, name of a person, place or thing is called a subject. Is called a subject. In short, subject means naming word is called subject. What is verb? Verb we have learned when we were learning um, parts of speech. So that is verb. Verb is action word is called verb. Action word is called verb. Now see few examples I will show you then you will come to know. See here Mona sings songs. Mona and Shama sing songs. She has black color car. They have black color cars. What you understood? What you have noticed in these examples dear children? Yes, you are correct. You have noticed that whichever in the red circle, whichever in red circle. The name of our lesson is subject verb agreement. With the subject verb must be agree. Verb must be agree. That is, that's why I have circled over here. See, Mona sings. I have written over here S. Here I have written S. And if you see here, this is a verb. This is subject. This is verb. Okay. Sings action. Which action Mona is doing? Singing. So, that is action word is called a verb. Mona sings. Mona and Shama sing. S I N G sing. Here I have added S and here I have cut that added only S I N G. Sing is there. Means you can come to know when subject is in singular form, verb is also in singular form. When subject is in plural, what is mean by plural? Plural is more than one, wherever is there, that is called a plural. So here two girls are there, Mona and Shama is there. So there are two, so subject is plural sentence is there. So subject, a verb is also plural, verb is also plural. Now here see number three. She has black color car. She, which is subject over here, naming word, pronoun is there. She, so she, she is a singular, singular has. We have written here, so subject is agree, subject verb agreement. For the sub singular subject, we are ri writing over here, has, that is a singular verb. Now here, they have black color cars. They plural subject plural subject more than one people so they have so agreement a verb which a verb is agree here the plural verb means this is a singular verb this is also has also singular verb sing sing is a plural verb hve have a plural verb so that only we are going to be learn in this lesson that is the subject for which singular subject which verb is agree and for the plural subject which verb is agree and the few more things now how you will come to know the singular verb and the plural verb how you will identify yes this is a singular verb and that is a plural verb naming word is okay that we can understand easy but what about this in the sixth standard for your class so what is this when we are writing he she it he she it for that whichever verb we are writing that is singular verb 
that you have to keep in mind dear children okay so he we always write for the singular he she plays means with work <coughs> we are adding s we are adding over here s and here also he she plays or singular verb is singular subject is there we are writing there is in the present tense was in the um, past tense so and plural how you will identify the plural verb when we are writing with the subject they means that here see they have okay so they they play they are they were there here we never say they was no they were okay they have so in this way you have to identify which is singular verb and which is plural verb now we'll see next we'll see now the next what is that the next is now we are see the one thing is there uh, that we have learned the verb am 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 is a verb okay the verb am is only used with pronoun i am is a verb that verb we always use with subject that is i that is first uh, that is a uh, first person pronoun that is i okay now we will see the basic rules uh, of a subject verb agreement okay for which subject which verb is agree okay for the su singular subject we have only singular subject and plural subject okay and in this uh, that we are going to be learn now very easy that is the rule number a that we are a b c like this we'll see now the rule number a singular subject takes singular verb singular subject takes a singular verb and plural subject takes a plural verb okay singular subject singular verb plural subject plural verb now we'll see examples example that dog that dog eats bone which is subject here the subject is dog what is verb here the verb is eats we have just now we have seen to with which subject we are adding s and which which subject we are not adding uh, s with verb okay now here see dog eats bone this man which is subject here man is subject here which is verb here here is a box is a verb so what is the first rule that is rule number a singular subject takes singular verb so that dog dog is a one dog so eats that is a singular whenever dear children we are adding s with verb that is called singular verb that is called singular verb okay so the dog is a singular eats is a uh, singular verb okay now this man walks fast man only one man is there so that is singular so that's why we have we have written here singular verb also okay now the plural now here the plural subject takes a plural verb the same example we are taking in plural that is now see that dogs eats bone means those dogs eat bone those are dogs dog subject subject is plural takes plural verb that is a plural verb eat without adding s to the verb okay those men this those okay those men walk fast see here for the subject man singular we had written walks but the plural we have written plural subject plural verb here okay so this is the rule number a according to this now in the person in person means you know we have first person second person and third person first person that i am talking with i am talking that is the first person to whom i am talking dear children i am talking with you so you are a second person suppose i and you if we are talking about other person or other friend circles that is called third person means first person second person third person okay so what is that first person i we that is we 
I, that, that is the first person. Second person, you. That is the second person. Third person, they, he, she, that is called the third person. We, about whom we are talking, that is a third person. All these things are there. See here, when, number see here in the rule, when subject is not in the third form. When the subject is not in a third form. These are the those, that, understand this that we are writing see here this is a third person this is a third person all are third person over here so when subject is not in third form when subject is not in third form that time for the singular person i we always see which is subject over here here i is a subject read is a verb i v is a subject read is a verb so Keep in mind dear children, when subject is not in third form, we are writing the same verb. No adding S, nothing. I read book daily. We read book daily. Understand? I singular subject. We singular, uh, sorry, plural uh, subject. Still we are writing read, read. Okay. So, in this, now we will see the rule number B, that is second rule, two singular subject plus and two singular subject two I am repeating two singular subject plus and whenever is there in the uh, uh, sentence we have to which verb will agree there the plural verb will agree there okay two singular subject plus and plural verb agrees for that for example Abhishek and Alvin. Abhishek is one personality. Alvin is one personality. Means two personalities are there. And adding with and. Adding with and. It takes plural verb. More than one person is there. So plural verb agrees. Which is plural verb here. Here is Abhishek is one subject. Alvin is one subject. We are taking verb plural so this is a plural verb so we are attached the r so that r is agree with these two subject now see a second example she and i she and i means she is a one person other i is other and adding with and there are rule is there and we are adding there which verb is agree plural verb is agree that is she and I were playing. Means two singular subject plus and. When we see that, we can come to know that, you know, that is the two personalities are there. So, we are adding plural verb. Okay. See the exceptional case here. Two subject expresses one idea. Means here also two subjects adding with and adding with and but they are not different personalities they are one expressing one idea there we are taking singular verb there we are taking singular verb for example see bread and butter here we have written and here slow and study has written and adding with and but they are not they are not different two things are there they are not two things different things are not there that is one only bread and butter is one Understand? That is not two different things. So, in this case, when two subjects are there, adding with and, but giving, expressing one idea, ek idea yadi deta hai, so there you have to use singular verb. See here, bread and butter, here is the bread is there, bread and bread there, we have used singular verb. We have used singular, slow and study, we have written singular verb, singular verb is wins the race. So, this is rule number B in this we say. Now, rule number C and D also. Now, we will see uh, the next rule that is rule number C. Rule number C is when a phrase comes between the subject and the verb, phrase. What is mean by phrase? Phrase is a, se phrase is a sentence, you know, group of word that gives meaning but not complete 
meaning you know that is a called a phrase so when a phrase comes between the subject and the verb the verb agrees with the subject and not with the noun or pronoun i repeat and i will make you understand this when a phrase comes between the subject and the verb okay now which is you know which is uh, phrase over here as well as as well as is a phrase okay here here uh, one of my friend one of my friends okay what is one of my friend this is also phrase we can say okay of my friend of my friends what is of my friends here father along with his along with what along with some phrases so when a phrase comes between the subject and the verb when the subject and the verb one of his friends okay one of his friends when the phrase when a phrase comes between the subject and a verb this is 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 a verb rohit is a subject in the second verb and is is a sub verb and he one of his is a phrase what is this his colleagues okay with his colleagues we can say so this is a phrase this is a subject this is a verb so in this case the when a phrase comes between the subject and the verb subject and the verb subject and the verb here subject and the verb here the verb agrees with the subject the verb so which verb agrees uh, agree so which verb you will write over there singular or plural so here in this case you have to see the subject if the subject is singular write singular verb if subject is plural write plural verb i repeat dear children pay attention when this phrase comes between subject and verb when phrase comes in between subject and verb that time this verb agrees with subject with subject not with the noun or a pronoun in the phrase not in the noun or pronoun in the phrase jo bhi phrase ke andar jo hai now here see friends are here here friends are there will his colleagues friend no pronoun is there pronoun is there will not agree with that but agree with the subject which is the subject so rohit is a subject is this it is, is it singular or plural it is a singular so we have written here is now one 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 singular we have written here is don't go what they have given in the phrase go this in this case the sub verb agrees with subject okay now here father father is also singular father along with his colleagues colleagues the so don't go in the phrase but here in this like this way you must understand you must identify which is phrase then only it is you can do you can write the and you will be uh, you will be able to write the answer now here is a father father is also singular so here we have written is that is rule number c okay now now rule number d what is rule number d subjects are joined j o r n e d okay subjects are joined subjects are joined by or or subjects are joined by or nor either neither okay subject now naming word if joined with or nor either neither the verb agrees with the nearest subject if in that subject in the sentence this comes nor or either neither so which verb will agree nearest to that subject see nearest the subject now we we'll go to example neither he nor his sister was which is subject here nearest subject this is here so this is here 
neither he nor his sister was there was there sister is singular so here it is also singular go to the next he or his he or his friends friends plural so we have written here plural verb that is are that is are okay uh, are to be blamed either ravi or i am so am is here okay am is here am is here here is are because friends is a plural here is a sister it is a singular so we have written here singular verb now here either ravi or i i is there so we have written with i which verb agrees every time that is am so here is am so what is the rule number d i repeat subject are joined by or nor either neither the verb agrees with the nearest subject so this is a nearest subject with near the verb nearest subject with the c here to friends nearest subject here also nearest subject now we'll see rule number e what is that rule number e